Okay boys, I'll uh, keep this brief. I'm actually uh, looking for a little bit of help on an issue here. Uh, I'm just in the process of charging my little battery. The battery charger is currently off. It has a horrendous 60 hertz hum. You'll hear it when I actually do turn it on. Um, but that's nothing to do with my issue. Using my hand tech here, my handheld uh, oscilloscope, the 2 Charlie 42, to actually monitor the, uh, the charge. Uh, for the simple reason I noticed a bit of an anomaly going on with it that I did not like at all. There it is. You see that mystery spike? And according to the measure function here, it was 39 uh, volts and change, right? Um, I have these mystery spikes showing up. I do not know where they're coming from. I have removed the uh, uh, coax because it's a lengthy coax. I thought, well, maybe it's maybe the fluorescent light is picking up uh, a noise spike or something like the coax is acting as an antenna. Uh, I disconnected it. It doesn't do any good. I uh, actually shorted the two leads together. It's still there no matter what. So you can see it. It is extremely annoying. Um, it is also there in the uh, roll function. In fact, it seems even more prominent in the roll function as opposed to YT. See, that, that happens for time to time as well. I don't know, perhaps there's something wrong with the video processor in this. There doesn't seem to be any issue of giving it the, you know, the old technical tap to see if I had twisted it and tried to see if I could get it to duplicate. It's just completely random. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. But as I said, it's extremely annoying because it effectively the trace is meaningless. And of course, the measure function is also meaningless, right? You can see the measure function going off the clock when the when the uh, when it actually happens. However, um, if we go to a faster time base, um, it seems to be significantly reduced. Let me go the right direction for a faster time base. So there you can see in uh, it's gone to YT function is too fast for roll of course uh, so at, um, 50 milliseconds per division it's, it's too fast for roll so it automatically defaults to the uh, back to the YT mode of operation and uh, so perhaps we just can't see it because the screen is uh, the screen is refreshing at a rate that we can't actually see the spike maybe that's why it's kind of masking the issue is, is what I'm trying to uh, is what I'm trying to see. So there's a charger actually turned on. Interestingly, you can actually see the. Uh, let me speed up the time base just a little bit more here. You can actually see the uh, the ripple on the charger. The spikes are gone again because uh, we're uh, at much faster time base. Um, and you can see the measure function actually starts to make sense because there isn't the anomalous spike, right? So the frequency there, um, we at 60 hertz here in Canada, of course, so I guess it's reading 120-ish because of full wave rectification. So that kind of all makes sense. You can rationalize that to some degree. But um, yeah, that, uh, that, anomalous spike is really annoying me to be quite honest uh, I think it'll show up at anything slower than uh, 100 milliseconds let's just see there it is yeah I'm gonna go to roll mode here I'm a big fan of roll mode. I actually prefer looking at things in roll mode if uh, you know the signal is slow enough that you can tolerate roll mode. I actually prefer it. Um, yeah, see, well, where are those coming from? And uh, is it a software issue? I can download the latest version of the software apparently, although going to the website made no sense to me. The firmware. Uh, will that correct the issue? I don't know. I'm hoping that somebody who actually has some experience with a with this series, the 2000 series uh, of handhelds, can maybe shed some light on this because this thing is brand new. You know, uh, of course it's probably just out of the return date when you buy it off of Amazon. It takes Christ two months to get here, and uh, you know, who needs the aggravation? So, I. I didn't. I didn't buy this to buy myself a project and go about fixing it, right? Uh, yeah.
frustrating, man. I don't know, but it is extremely annoying and disappointing because uh, I've been quite a fan of the hand tech uh, product, but this one ain't impressing me. Listen, in the grand scheme of things, this is no big deal, right? It's a toy, but uh, we bit annoying. That's it, boys. Cheers.